The fashion world changes all the time. You can even see the approaching revolution in clothes. You can see and feel everything in clothes. Well, the film was, you know, it started, it was about three years ago that I started, and I had started this as a book project. And my idea really was to do a book, and it was really a book just to really show for a younger generation who Deanna Vreeland was, and to really let her speak, to speak through her words and her imagery, and and also to show a lot of images that haven't been seen because there are a lot of familiar images. And so at the same time, I said, I should do a film. I think that when somebody grows up, like she you know, she obviously had a very particular childhood and she was exposed to extraordinary different experiences, but she had a mother who was a toughie. And you know, when you're, when you're at a young age, your mother says, you know, you're my ugly little monster. You know, you, I think you realize you have to pick yourself up and she definitely had to overcome things, but she didn't show it. And that's what was amazing because she was so positive about things. And she was still, you know, because in the end she was this society woman, very well brought up, but who was totally living in a different way because she could, she could talk to a cab driver and then talk to some ambassador or some duchess from somewhere else and be able to relate to everybody. She hardly was a traditional beauty. You know, she was a, a very eccentric looking woman and what she did was instead of trying to fit into some mold, she absolutely went, you know, in the way of designing herself so that she was an extraordinary work of art in herself. Every detail was perfect. Angelica Houston started to model with uh, under Vreeland and she did a lot of work with Dick Abaddon at the time. And then Angelica Houston started to go out with Jack Nicholson. And Jack Nicholson and, and Deanna Vreeland had a great friendship, a lot of fun, like lots and lots of fun. And I did try to get him for the movie, but he did not want to do it. And I think from what from that friendship, a lot of other friendships grew, and she was very close also to Warren Beatty. She made it okay for women to be outlandish and extraordinary. She would fix her gaze on somebody, and then they'd start to blossom. Oh, I adore Twiggy. She's just such a personality. The first picture ever published of Mick was with Reedham. Those lips. Isn't Mick great? I think that it's going to inspire people to live and have let their passion drive them. And I think that that's what we need is a little bit of kind of a kick in the rear to say, hey, let's go out there and like live our life the way we want it. And, and really pursue that dream. And I know that that, ha that is exactly the way people have been reacting to it for a while. So it's gonna be exciting when it opens up on the, on the 21st of September. All these people invented themselves. Naturally, as the editor, I was there to help them along. She would say, you're not supposed to give people what they want. You're supposed to give them what they don't know they want yet. She was about ideas and about the magic of fashion. There's only one very good life, and that's the life that you know you want and you make it yourself. Vision is the word I just wanted to talk about her. She had a vision. Did I say that already?